And also the longest running sporting event in the Northern Territory is the Henley on Todd Regatta, an annual sailing and rowing regatta with one tiny point of difference. It's held on a bone dry creek bed. Mm. Mm. The Circle's Sean Lynch took part in this year's event and will be along to tell us whether he still got seasick. <laughs> yeah, but coming up, Sean Lynch goes sailing without so much as even getting his tootsies wet. Tootsies. Sean Lynch takes us to the scene of one of the most unique sporting events in the world right after this unique offer from The Circle. Thanks, ladies. Well, sure, the middle of the outback is known for its beautiful scenery, rich culture and history, but it's just as famous for hosting some of our country's more unusual events. So we recently sent our roving reporter, Sean Lynch, to the Red Centre to check out one of Australia's longest-running and iconic sporting fixtures. Take a look. Travelling through the Australian desert where the closest large body of water is well over a thousand kilometres away. And it's fair to say you're not going to stumble across a boat anytime soon, let alone a bunch of people willing to race in them in the middle of a dry riverbed. Well, that's unless you're in Alice Springs. You might have heard of the Henley on Todd. It's an event that sometimes makes the news. And if you haven't heard of it, I can tell you now in summary. It's an event that's happened every year for 50 years in the capital of the Outback, where teams from around the world carry bottomless boats and scuttle down a riverbed, kind of like the Flintstones. Makes perfect sense, really. It's here where you'll basically find hundreds of people just paddling or shoveling their way to the finish line if that's in a bottomless yacht or a whitewater kayaks or five-person boogie boards, bathtubs and sand skis. The list goes on. Oh, I feel like I'm digging my own grave. brings you to, to this, this amazing event? Oh, we just got to encourage the crowd to come down and support Alice Springs all the way. I feel like I'm in Gladiators. I'm Vulcan. Oh, is that us? Alice Springs. It makes you the fittest man on earth. But the big grand finale of the day is the battle between three large boats that are actually so massive they're held up by tractors. There's a lot of things you can do in Alice Springs. I've done a few today. Almost got fallen off a bar. I've got hit in the face with things, but guess what? We're going to end it on the biggest thing of all. It's a boat Now on the couch. Welcome, Sean. Thank you very much. Since then. I've had a shower since then. That, that stuff that's, that was getting shot at me uh, in the face, uh, <laughs> it wasn't, a, it's, it's a mixture of uh, like flour and, and sand and like and water as well, shot out of these like high projectile things and like it wasn't until about two minutes into the, the trucks driving around and people blasting at you that the girl's like, make sure you keep your mouth closed. I'm like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> That's disgusting. But anything, anything, that, it's, it's just an, an additional, adding it to my list of things to, uh, that the producers of the circle, I guess it's, well, attempted murder. They've tried to. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I got this huge slit uh, on my wrist from uh, doing uh, the, the hamster wheel, and like it, it's, it's the sort of thing when people see you, they go, oh, oh, Sean, you've, oh, you, are you, is everything okay? Oh, yeah. yes. And then, so I'm like, no, it's fine. I just was in a giant hamster wheel in, a, in the middle of a desert. Yeah, I was in just a river that's empty, and they're like, oh, there's, there's a phone number, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Sean, all week we've 
week we're going to see stories from you up in the Northern Territory. We are. What, we was, are. what was the highlight? A lot of people haven't been up there. Uh, look, that, like, that was an amazing day because there's just some, well, some bizarre people up there, but there's some great people up there too. But we're going to be, there's a story where we've gone to Uluru, and I've been there a few times now. I think it's me and Daryl Summers have been there the most right. of any people. But it's an amazing place, and um, if, if you ever go there, like, there's lots of places to go on holiday, but it's one of those things where it's sort of uh, science of, of the rocks meets this amazing spirituality sort mm. of thing. And, and like I, I, the first time I went up there, um, it was about a month or two after my mum passed away. And it was, we, we, me, I went up with my dad and we were in there and it was in this, uh, it was this very, uh, it was called the, um, it's a sacred women's section. It was mm. like very, like of all the places to go and we, and we, we were in this, this spot. And we, of all the places in the middle of the desert, we bumped into uh, a, a teacher, uh, a teacher from my high school who, uh, of all the pe of all the teachers that went to my high school, one that went to it was friends with my mum and went to the school in this very one little spot, and it was just one. It's just one of those things, and you, there's countless stories like that, and we'll see that where people. It's just this amazing mixture of, of spirituality meets um, geology, and it's it's an amazing place well, to go. Well, we can't wait it. to see those stories. Well done, Sean, and keep watching the circle all this week for more of Sean's adventures in the Northern Territory. <laughs> we'll be back after this quick break.